Hello friends, welcome back to BlockOn. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the ultrasound guided dual sub sartorial block or DSB based on the sign of three, half peak and the shark head pattern. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? As the name suggests, DSP combines of two subsartorial blocks, the distal femoral triangle block and the adductor canal block, preferably performed at proximal adductor canal. The local anesthetic is deposited under sartorius muscle at two different places. But why? DSB is a hybrid form of subsartorial block which is performed immediately after the surgery to cover all the procedure-specific innervation of the pain generators involved in total knee arthroplasties. If you want more information on anatomical and technical aspects of this novel block, please check the description of this video. I will provide the article links there. Yes, exactly, exactly. First injection is performed at the distal most part of the femoral triangle just 1 to 2 cm proximal to the apex. Here the saphenous nerve lies lateral to the femoral artery and the nerve to vastus medialis lies further laterally in the intermuscular place between the sartorius and the vastus medialis muscle. Please remember there is no vasoadductor or vasoadductor membrane in the femoral triangle. Sometimes the saphenous nerve and the NVM are separated by fibrous septa. Hence, we need to perform two separate injections targeting the each nerve. Distally, the local anesthetic sprayed along the adductor canal with the femoral vessels, mostly under the sartorius muscle but above the vasoadductor membrane. It involves the subsartorial plexus between the sartorius muscle and the vasoadductor membrane. Proximal spread of local anesthetic involves the intermediate femoral cutaneous nerve and medial retinacular nerve from the nerve to vastus medialis, which contribute to the formation of medial half of the peripatellar plexus. Oh my God! Yeah. The second injection is performed 1 to 2 cm distal to the apex of the femoral triangle that is at the level of proximal adductor canal. At this region only saphenous nerve lies lateral to the femoral artery. Here we do not target any nerves directly. As you can see the saphenous nerve, nerve to vastus medialis and subsartorial plexus are already soaked in local anesthetic. Our goal is to deposit the local anesthetic next to the femoral vessels. The local anesthetic travels along the femoral vessels and through the adductor hiatus ultimately reaches the posterior region and involves the popliteal plexus. The patient is placed in supine position with the hip abducted and the thigh externally rotated to facilitate the ultrasound probe and needle placement. The operator stands on the side to be blocked and the ultrasound machine is placed on the opposite side. If stimulation of nerve to vastus medialis is performed simultaneously, thigh exposure is required to observe the motor response. What do you want? What do you want? A high frequency linear transducer or a low frequency curvilinear transducer in obese patients and 80 to 150 millimeter of 22 gauge short bevel ecogenic nerve block needle is used to perform this block. Alternatively, 20 to 23 gauge spinal needle can be considered. The DSP requires 20 to 30 mils of local anesthetic to adequately cover the pain generating components of total knee replacement surgery. I personally prefer 0.1 to 0.2 percent ropivacaine or 0.1 to 5 percent levopipivacaine along with 4 to 8 milligrams of dexamethasone as an adjuvant to improve the quality and duration of analgesia. Show me what you got! You, you heard the said show me 
what you got as you can see here i have marked three points on the anteromedial aspect of the thigh the first one corresponds to the distal most part of the femoral triangle the second one is the apex of femoral triangle and the third one corresponds to the proximal adductor canal you can directly place the transducer over the anteromedial aspect of the thigh and look for the sign of three or you can start the scanning from the inguinal region by identifying the femoral vessels and femoral nerve by moving the ultrasound probe in the caudal direction the apex of the femoral triangle can be identified where medial border of the sartorius and the adductor longus muscle overlie forming a figure of three from this point if we move the ultrasound probe one to two centimeter proximally we will find the distal femoral triangle where the saphenous nerve lies just next to the femoral artery and where nerve to vastus medialis lies further laterally this distal part of the femoral triangle including the sartorius erector longus and the femoral artery appears like the head of the half big fish so for a quick recap first we have to find the sign of three now if we go proximally we will see the half peak pattern and if we go distally we will see the shark head pattern the dsp can be performed by following three simple steps number one identify the apex of femoral triangle by sign of three number two perform the first injection at distal femoral triangle by identifying the half big pattern number three perform the second injection at the level of proximal adductor canal by identifying the shark head pattern the probe is placed on the anteromedial aspect of the thigh and look for the sign of three so once the apex of the femoral triangle is identified then move the probe in kefala direction to identify the half big pattern now if we move the probe laterally we will be able to identify the two hyperechoic structures the first one next to the femoral artery is saphenous nerve and further laterally lies the nerve to vastus medialis if we stimulate the nerve to vastus medialis we will be able to see the twitches of vastus medialis muscles first local anesthetic is deposited around the nerve to vastus medialis and then the needle is withdrawn and redirected to towards the saphenous nerve let's have a look at another video on distal femoral triangle block here we can see one two three hyperechoic oval st structures next to the femoral artery sometimes medial retinacular nerve lies next to the nerve to vastus medialis so first the nerve to vastus medialis is targeted and the local anesthetic is deposited around it then the needle is withdrawn and redirected towards the femoral artery to block the saphenous nerve so 5 to 10 mils of local anesthetic is deposited around each nerve in adult patient 10 to 20 mils of local anesthetic is usually adequate for successful blockade please avoid injecting higher volume of local anesthetic at this region because it might spread proximally and block the femoral nerve and its branches which ultimately lead to quadriceps weakness the second injection is performed at the level of proximal adductor canal which is similar to the hypac block except we are not using the higher volume here we are using 10 to 20 mils of local anesthetic here in hypac block if you remember i have mentioned we are using 30 to 40 mils of local anesthetic to involve the popliteal plexus and sciatic nerve indirectly here our goal is to deposit the local anesthetic next to the femoral artery it can travel along the adductor canal and ultimately reaches the posterior region to block the popliteal plexus but not the sciatic nerve after performing the first injection if we scan at the proximal adductor canal region which is identified by the shark head pattern 
you will see there is already some amount of local anesthetic below the sartorius muscle and around the saphenous nerve which comes from the distal femoral triangle block now we will target the 11 o'clock position next to the artery and deposit the local anesthetic as i have described before you will see the sunset pattern here the local anesthetic will repeatedly compress the femoral artery first target the 11 o'clock position and then after hydrodissection slowly insert the needle and place the tip at 12 o'clock position nice compression of the femoral artery by local anesthetic please use color doppler during scout scanning to identify and confirm the femoral vessels and their branches as well as the presence of any other vascular structures along the proposed needle trajectory. DSP can be an essential component of multimodal analgesia protocol to provide motor sparing and opioid sparing post-operative analgesia. This block can be used for any knee surgeries with medial approach. It may not work in total knee replacements with other approaches including the revision TKR or knee debridement surgeries as the incision is not always medial parapatellar. That's all for today. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.